Hello and welcome to another video on Microsoft Fabric and in today's video we are going to bring data from Snowflake and we are going to use Dataflow Gen 2 for that. And we are going to set the destination both for lake house as well as warehouse. We will send partial data to lake house and partial data to warehouse and we would like to analyze that by using warehouse or lake house in Power BI using the data set, default data set. So let's begin this journey. We will go to app.powerbi.com, which is our fabric also. I have already enabled fabric on my tenant and I'm running a trial on the fabric right now. So let's begin our journey. I need to go to my workspace. So I click on workspaces and I will go to 01 fabric, which is my current workspace. I'll go to new here and I'll use the show all option under the new. And here I'm going to create a lake house, which I'm going to call as snow flake. Let's call it snowflake LH. There's no space allowed. So remove that snowflake LH. It will open it. And uh, while it is loading, let me open another tab and also create warehouse quickly. So I will go here and in the workspace zero one fabric. I will go ahead and say new again, show all and scroll little bit down. And here I will have option for warehouse and I'll click on that and I'll also call it snow flake WH one and I'll say create both lake house and warehouse are created and I would now like to load the data here. So why don't I go ahead? I will go ahead to my workspace again, zero one fabric. And from the workspace, I will again say new show all and under the data factory, I'm going to use the option data flow gen two. Data flow gen two is something which has a destination and where we can save the data into the lake house as well as warehouse. Now I need to bring in the data to get the data. I will say home tab, get data and I need to click on more to get the snowflake option. I can search snowflake in my search box on the right top and once i do that i'll get the option for snowflake database i click on that now i need to give my url so let me go ahead and bring my url here i already tested it once so may it may happen that once i give it it starts registering me the connection so give the way url the host url and this host url you need to give without http so the url which you get might have http and everything you have to give it without that then I'll show you edit connection detail. You need to use the uh, authentication, uh, Snowflake authentication, username and password, which you can go ahead and try out here. So let me give my username and password here. And press next. Once you do that, you will be able to connect to Snowflake. It is asking me to save. I'm right now saying don't save. I will, I'm able to see my databases. I'll click on one of the databases and I'm able to see my table. These are the four tables I'm using for quite some time. So you might be familiar with that. So I'll just click here. And if I click on the right hand side, not on the box, I see a preview of my data. So I will check the customer. Now you want to get it into your destination then, or you want to load it to data flow, then make sure that you click the checkbox also. If you don't click the checkbox, then the data will not get loaded into the data flow. So I have checked all of them and let me say create. Now all the four tables are visible into my data flow gen two, which is right now named as data flow 21 for the first time. We cannot change the name. Second time when we come up here and click on the name of the data flow, we will be, we will be getting an option to change it. And once you change it, you have to again click on the data flow name and then that's how it changes. So I have customer table just wanted to ensure there is no space between the columns because I'm going to lend few of the things to the lake house and few of the things to data warehouse and they, we don't need any space here. So customer is fine. Geography is something where I have problem little bit with state, but it is fine. Item is also fine. Okay. Everything is fine and sales is also fine for sales. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new column here and to add the new column. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to add column custom column and here I'm going to create a formula 
gross amount once i create that i'll say quantity multiply by price whenever you wanted to create a multiplication it should happen at the row level and column is one of the best way to do that if you are unable to create a column then you can create a row level measure multiplication should always happen at row level means first you need to multiply then you need to sum remember the rule and i say okay i have not given the data type so it may create a problem so what i can do here is i can go here click here and say decimal data type so i got my data type corrected here so now my data type is correct now you can see there the moment i do this it says this step is not going to uh, migrate to uh, the uh, source means this is going to be executed here the data type change will happen here okay we are fine with that so now i have all my four tables what i'm doing going to do today is i'm going to land my all my dimensions tables to warehouse and i'm going to land land my fact table to lake house okay so fact will go to lake house and dimensions will go to warehouse so customer table i click here i go to my home table home tab and in the destination i say the warehouse as my destination the new warehouse connector has arrived very recently and we can set the warehouses there i press the next button and after the next button 01 fabric is one which i'm going to click there i we have created snowflake warehouse one customer i i'm going to keep the same name because it's a new warehouse so i don't need to rename the only thing i need to check all the columns are mapped and it is in replace if we, i don't use the replace then they will append if i run it again same thing i'm going to repeat for geography again i'll go here and press on add destination two places the option is here one is here and another one is here whichever you want you can use the result is same click on add destination then warehouse inside the warehouse the connection detail would be warehouse then you press the next button on the bottom then you go to 01 fabric then snowflake warehouse one i'm not going to change the table name i'll keep it same it please remember it's going to be case sensitive database but we are going to get there so if name is in the capital it means we need to write it down in the capital i come to the third table item again at destination warehouse and it's not necessary we can create a combination of lake house warehouse and that's what i want to also plan to show you so again snowflake warehouse one the next item table let's see all the fields are mapped or not and if the, all the fields are mapped okay all the fields are mapped replace again no append whatever data is coming it's replaceable i am having a static kind of a data i already shown you the incremental way of loading data please watch those videos now i i go to sales here now i have created a new column here so we need to remember that i go to lake house and in the lake house now i'm going to say 01 fabric and inside the 01 fabric i have my lake house which is snowflake lake house i want to keep this table name as same i go to the next and here i created a new custom column so i need to check my mapping and my mapping is correct but i see some the them are decimal numbers so i cancel it once and let me change few of them as whole numbers and the problem the moment i do it and if my item is a decimal okay i'll not change it for item let me do let me do that thing let me not change it for item now so i remove the step i'll i'll only change it for this one whole number so we i should have paid the attention but right now i think we should be able to manage it with this so i'll go again to add destination lake house next 01 fabric uh snowflake lh replace and i done with all my settings if i click here below here i can see where they are going three should go to warehouse and one should go to lake house all testing is done now time to publish it so there are two option in publish publish now and publish later and by default if you click on publish it is publish now so i'm going to click on publish now it's going to perform two steps publish now is going to perform two steps for me is going to publish it so the it's rolling here it means the publish is in progress if you are unable to notice this is the place where you can see this icon which is the loading icon and it is publish in progress once that is done you will see a date here and along with the date you will get the publish icon here so it means the publish you will get the up 
the refresh icon here it means refresh is in progress publish is already done so now it has happened the publish is successful and now refresh is in progress the icon has shifted the position you can see the dates and now it is there once this data get loaded we will go to our lake house and warehouse now let me do while it is loading my warehouse is already open let me open one more tab here app.powerbi.com and also let me reach my warehouse lake house so i click on here i go to my workspace zero on fabric my warehouse is open i am also opening my lake house which is snowflake so snowflake lake house i'm going to open the lake house view and then i can shift to and you can see the things while they are partially loading loaded you will be able to see that and you can also click here and on three dots and you can click on the refresh history to see what is happening here right now it is in progress so once it is successful then we will be able to see all the data so we have to wait for that to complete it typically take for my data one on one and a half minutes for most of the data sources those similar kind of timing i am expecting here for this loading process also the loading of the data is completed let's look at the refresh history and it is succeeded around 57 second that's what i was expecting now if i go to my warehouse and if i open my schema uh, and one let it load the dbo schema and once the dbo schema is there i'm expecting my tables to be there by default and you can see inside the dbo schema my customer table is there i can click and view my data my geography table is there and my item table is there so let me right click and say new query select 100 rows i can see my 100 rows and now i when i'm clicking it is also able to respond to my other tables and showing that data now let me go to the lake house view i clicked on another tab on the top uh, so this is the snowflake lake house those who have not noticed please notice this is my lake house and this was my warehouse so i am on the lake house view now and it's showing uh, unidentified but just because i opened it in between you can click here on the refresh icon on the top and once you refresh it it should be able to show you the table okay still it is not converted into the table so one more refresh i have cleared my cache and refresh it is showing unidentified so i decided is it really showing me some error or it is just some uh, temporary issue so i went i let me go to the sql endpoint and in the sql endpoint if i am able to see the sales table then i think i am pretty much fine with this so in the lake house in the sql endpoint i am able to see my sales table it means it's just a temporary issue of refresh uh, which is uh, not reflecting correctly so what i'm going to do i'm going to right click on my table here and say select 100 rows and once i get this rows it means it is working what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this script from here and i'll go to my warehouse view and in my warehouse view i'm going to say new sql query and there i'm going to run this query again because they are from the same workspace they should be we i should be able to query like just like databases in sql server now i'm going to remove this top 100 here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this dbo sales and i'll say create view dbo sales as same with the same name i'm trying to create here okay and i execute this one command executed successfully now i can do the same thing i can move my dimensions to the lake house and i can use it there, there. and i can do one more thing i can use add some calculations if i want let's say i have this city go uh, cogs customer id order id sales and all those so i if i want i can add some new columns also here and uh, if you remember i finally forget to change the data type i remove that step of data type changes uh, from my sales table so it seems like because of that i lost the gross sales because the mapping was not correct so if you go ahead and see and this is one thing which i would like to sh you to remember that if your data type is something which you miss out then it may create little bit of trouble so let me show you so what happens in the sales here this thing is missing data type so it is one a b c one two three so it's not going to happen so i need to change it 
and now I have to again cross this mapping and I'll say destination add destination as lake house next 01 fabric lake house 01 and here I'm, I'm going to say new table and I'm going to call it as sales one next now I got the gross amount save setting and I'll publish it again so now it will publish and it will load that table as sales one while it is happening I will show you that that the data has come correctly there what I'm going to do is in this table itself view which is created I'm going to drop this view now for you I'll tell you the command drop view and I can actually add a column here itself so I can say what is my gross quantity multiply by price as and let me keep the name as gross only and I can again create that view so if I go to the views now I can refresh it if it is not loaded so I let me check out this view so now you can see I have a gross here I'll quickly create the model and analyze it so I clicked on the model uh, because uh, I have uh, done the publish also in parallel so model took a little bit time to open but it has opened let me bring in this table at the center and quickly join it with the other tables so this is my sales table which I want to join so I'm going to join item ID with the item ID here many to one single directional confirm then I'm going to join customer ID let's join customer ID with the customer many to one single directional that's done now city ID uh, we need to join with city ID city ID with city ID many to one single directional join again we'll prefer confirm so our schema is ready and we are going to uh, create a new power bi report to do that and to do for doing that I'll click on the data tab below and here I'll get the option for new report I'll click on a new report and it will open the power bi for me on the service where i can create the new report and i'm going to quickly create a major i'm going to quickly create a visual here and the visual which i'm going to create is brand and gross sales i got my data let me create on the category also i bring in category and along with category I bring in gross you will always see the second time is little bit faster only for the first time it takes a little bit of time to create the first visual post that it is really fast now let's save this report this is our snowflake report one so we are able to load data from snowflake to a two different places able to create report and check now we have loaded one more table which if you remember we not able to get it so we missed out some columns so we loaded it as a separate table now let me go ahead and check that out i'm refreshing my lake house here with the a sql endpoint so i'm refreshing here my lake house with my sql endpoint and you can see i got my new sales table and i'm expecting gross out here so in this manner we are able to you know get the data from the snowflake load it into the data lake which is lake house and warehouse which is warehouse data warehouse which is warehouse and able to analyze the data in fabric in power bi we can also analyze using sql so why don't you go ahead and try it out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you